All right, future musicians, I have finished typing out all the questions that I have for my BuzzFeed quiz. So you should be at a similar place where you have typed out all your questions, you have given them different values and added them to a list. You should be printing this just right now just to make sure that we are doing everything right. So I'm gonna run this and see if it's all working. So we're gonna run module and it'll ask me to save, okay. And then we get right here. It's dessert time, whipped up your favorite treat. What do you want? I'm gonna say a custard tart. And then you're getting ready to fight Ko. What weapon do you yield? Fan can shield my face because I don't want my face stolen. I'll put a fan. Uh, after a long quarantine during the Pentapox outbreak, what's the first thing you do? Power disc looks so much fun. I'll do that. And then if you could have one of the following as a companion, which one would you choose? Uh, I'm gonna go with a dragon, because why not? So now, as I'm printing this out, we can see that my list has now become four numbers. And if I were to find a mode of this list, my mode would be three. So now we wanna write something that says, if we find this mode to be three, then we want to say that I am an earthbender because three is the value that we have associated with earthbending. So we actually, in order to add in mode, we need to go back to the top of our program and we are going to import statistics. Cool. I believe it's just statistics. Yeah, it's just statistics. So we're gonna import statistics and that is going to be what we use because now we're gonna use that and it gives us our mode function that we can use to actually find our mode. So in order to find our mode, what we are going to do is say that our answers mode is equal to Da, 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 da. Answers. No, no, no. It is. Yeah. Statistics. Dot multi mode. And then that is of our answers. Remember, that's the list, the name of the list that we use. So now our answers mode should equal the mode of this. So we can go over here and we'll print our answers mode. So now when I run this, we'll save. I'm gonna fly through this. And right there. So uh, we've got one, three, four, four. And notice it prints our answer, our mode, but it prints it in a list. That's important because a list in itself is a data type. So we want to uh, have that as our, um, as our answers in our if statement. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So after this, we want to say that if, oh, we need to go over into our results now. That's why I made these. So if, answers underscore mode is equal equal to list one so it's a mode of one then we are going to print you are an air vendor and then we can close that up and now we can go on to if answers underscore mode is equal to, ooh, I wanna make that an L if, and I also wanna make sure I'm not forgetting my colons over here. So if that is equal to two, then I believe I set all these ones up as the first ones. So that is a firebender. So we will print you, you are a fire vendor. We'll close that up. 
Ooh, I need to make sure that I'm using the proper syntax. L if answers mode is equal to three, then we are going to print you are an earthbender. We'll close that up. And now we have got our last type of bender. So if the answers mode is equal to four, then we are going to print you are a water bender. All right. So that is our big uh, results printout. But one more trick that I want to throw in here. And that's going to be what happens if we don't have a mode or we have this multi mode. We could have a mode where people have answered two firebender answers and two earthbenders or two air and two earth or two air and two water, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Or we could have an option where the list is one, two, three, four, meaning that they are interested in all the elements. So I'm going to say else print you are the avatar. That's uh, pretty exciting. I know that it's slightly different than um, if you get two airbenders and two firebenders, you're not the avatar, but that's writing a lot more if statements than I'd like to do right now. So that's what I'm gonna have right here. So that's gonna be a fun little quiz and this should all punch out with our static. So I'm going to run module and I'll save it. And now we can see what type of bender you are. So I am gonna say dessert. I really am interested in trying the fire flakes. I, I really do love fighting with a sword, uh, but I wanna get the avatar. So I'm gonna say sledgehammer and then uh, I haven't chose a water bending yet, so I'll say water bending, and then earth bending. We'll go with that. Oh, I picked two earth bending. I did. I did. Badger mole and sledgehammer. I did. Well, I'm an earth bender. So that's the program. It works pretty simply. You can make your own FuzzFeed quiz. What I really want to articulate inside of this is that we were able to take some numbers and use the math, and it's pretty simple math, to create something that you wouldn't really think that there's all this math behind. And that's computers work like this. They work with numbers and they are able to take our answers and put it in unique ways. So this is a problem solving technique that is commonplace within computer programming. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. I can't wait to take off your quizzes. I will talk to you later. Bye.